Hi everybody, this is Jared Dean from Missing Persons of America. I'm going to be telling you about the case of Brittany Shank from Michigan, who's been missing since 2018. And her mother has run across a video that she believes is her daughter that shows that she's in distress and needs help. So we're going to be talking about that in just a sec. So Brittany Shank, she is 23 years old and she's been missing since November 30th, 2018. And she's missing from Burr Oak, Michigan. Now, Brittany borrowed her boyfriend's car and she picked up a male friend and they went over to her grandmother's house to do some laundry. They left there around 8.30 and the car went off the road and had a minor accident near Fawn River East of Hallway Road, east of Sturgis. Now, it's unknown if Brittany's friend was in the car with her when this accident happened. Now, Brittany's mom, Jessica, she did some research on this case, did some footwork, and she went to the location where the car was and went to the neighbors and she started knocking on doors and asking questions if anybody knew of anything that happened that day. And they, uh, one of the people that she ran into was an elderly homeowner. And he said that Brittany showed up and she didn't have any jacket on. She didn't have any shoes on and she had blood on her arm and she was looking for help. And they tried to use the cell phone to, call the police and get help, but they couldn't get a connection. So the man gave Brittany his jacket because, you know, she didn't have a jacket. And he went into the house to use the landline to call the police. And when he came back, Brittany was gone. So Jessica went to another house where a teenager was at that night. And he he lived there and she came, he said that Brittany came to the door, but he was too afraid to answer it so because he was alone, so he didn't. Now, there was some thought that there was another person knocking on another door at the same time. Now, they're not sure if Brittany knocked on that one door and then around, went around to the side of the house and knocked on the other door, or if maybe Brittany's friend was there and he knocked on one side door and she knocked on the other door. There, it's not clear what might have happened there. So we're still not sure if Brittany was a, completely alone or if her male friend was with her. Now, Jessica said that with the concern of the car, it she said it had been moved and a struggle had happened in the car. And she was wondering if that's what happened, why the car went off the road and she was running away and then if she was running to the house is looking for help and maybe the person that was in that she was with was running after her it, we're not clear on any of that information where she needs more information to try to figure this out so jessica was getting a lot of different tips and one of the tips is just it's just terrible uh one of the tips says that Je that Brittany was being kept in a dog cage and uh, it's just tortured and for 15, 15 days and then her body was burnt and remains were put in the swamp behind the house. Now, this is terrible. It's not, I mean, I have to say it fast because I don't even want to say the words. That it's so terrible. And uh, Jessica was saying she's been out there for like 13 months picking up these tips, trying to get information. And she said she's organized every search and she's put herself smack dab in the middle of it all trying to figure out what happened to her daughter. Then a video appears. Now this video, it shows a man at a Shipshawana, Indiana chicken ranch and he's stealing some boots. The video camera catches him stealing the boots and then he's walking towards a car. And as he gets to this car, you can hear this woman moaning and groaning and and she begins to yell and and it's it's confusing and it's alarming at the same time this video
And in the, you can hear as though she's grasping for air and moaning in pain. It's just, it's really, really a horrible thing. But, and you can also hear the man saying, hey, hey, what are you doing? I'm not going to hurt you. So we don't know who's in that car. But Jessica believes that that voice is her daughter. She thinks that that's her daughter in the car. And she also has a photo of a man standing in front of a white car. She believes that that man standing in front of a white car is the same man that's in that video. And that's the same car. So we're just trying to track down who this guy can be. Now you see the picture of him there. Now the police are saying, if you know who this man is, to give them a call. So they just want to talk to the guy, the guy that's in the picture, even the guy that's in the video. They just want to talk to the guy and they want to see what's going on. If, they, if he's seen Brittany or not. Now, Brittany is described as five foot one and 110 pounds. And she's got brown hair and hazel eyes. And the guy, he's in his 20s and he had, he's between five foot six and five foot eight. And he's got short brown, short blonde hair blonde hair and mutton chop sideburns. All right, so if you know who that is, you please call the police and let them know who it is. Now, Jessica has set up a petition for the Michigan State Police Department that reads in part, family and friends in the community at large requesting that immediate action effort be taken regarding the disappearance of Brittany Nicole Shank Wallace. Brittany has been missing since November 30th, 2018. It's in the opinion of all the above stated parties that the efforts made to date to locate Brittany by both the Michigan State Police and the St. Joseph's County Sheriff's Department have lacked in effort and therefore have been substandard and unacceptable. So if you want to sign that petition, uh, you can go to Missing Persons of America blog and there's the link is there and you can go and sign the petition. And anybody with any more information can call the St. Joseph's County Sheriff's Office at 269-467-9045. And if you want to remain anonymously, as always, you can send me a tip and I will make sure it gets to the right parties. You don't have to tell me who you are and I will not disclose who you are and I can pass the information. Just want to try to find Brittany. Her mom knows she wouldn't be away this long. She wouldn't keep away. She She's out there somewhere and we just need one person that knows where she's at, may run across her, any kind of tip. If And we think the best tip may be to locate who that guy is and find out if he knows any information. All right, that's it.